found that we can use the equation the number of sides minus 2 times 180 to find the interior angle sum for regular polygons. Now we're going to look to see if that's true for just regular polygons or if that's going to be true for any polygon. Here we have our equilateral triangle. We saw that if we took the vertices, sliced them off, we could arrange them to make a straight line to show us the interior angle sum of 180 degrees. We also have a right angle triangle and a scalene triangle. If the interior angle sum of any triangle is going to be 180 degrees, we should be able to do the same thing with the other vertices. We can see we can do that on the right angle triangle. We can put those together to make a straight line giving us an interior angle sum of 180 degrees. Now let's try it with the scalene triangle. If we cut off its vertices and arrange them, we see that they also go together to form a straight line. That means all triangles are going to have an interior angle sum of 180 degrees, regardless if they're regular or irregular. Let's look at a few other irregular polygons. Starting at one vertex, we're going to connect that vertex to all the other vertices in our figure. When we do that, we create a set of triangles. We know that each triangle has an interior angle sum of 180 degrees. So we're going to use that to help us find the interior angle sum of the entire figure. Here on the quadrilateral, we've made two triangles. We know each triangle is worth 180 degrees. So 180 degrees times 2 is going to give me an interior angle sum of 360 degrees on the quadrilateral. Same thing on the pentagon. We know that each triangle is worth 180 degrees and we created three triangles. So to find the interior angle sum, I'm going to multiply 3 times 180 and that gives me 540 degrees. Here on the hexagon, each triangle is worth 180 degrees and we've made four of them. So to find the interior angle sum, I'm going to multiply 4 times 180. 4 times 180 gives me an interior angle sum on the hexagon of 720 degrees. Let's take our data, arrange it in the table so we can look for a pattern. Triangles, no matter what, are 180, quadrilaterals 360, pentagons 540, hexagons 720. Well, if we look, we can again see that we are constantly increasing by 180 degrees each time. So that means we're again working with multiples of 180. So the triangle would be 1 times 180, the quadrilateral is still 2 times 180, the pentagon 3 times 180, and our hexagon is 4 times 180. So just like with regular polygons, we can see that we're always multiplying something times 180. So if we want to generate that in equation for our n gon, meaning any number of sides, we know we're going to multiply something times 180. Well again, if we look, the triangle has three edges, but it's multiplied by one. The quadrilateral has four, it's multiplied by two. The pentagon has five, it's multiplied by three. So just like with regular polygons, we again seem to be doing the number of sides minus two before we multiply by 180. So no matter if we're dealing with regular polygons or irregular polygons, we're going to be able to use the same equation to find their interior angle sum. Number of sides minus 2 multiplied by 180. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching!